We all have baggage, something we wish we could change, or something we aren't proud of, or even something that feels like it's holding us back. My addiction to sugar is constantly hanging over my head. Don't I wish I could be the nutrition major that eats the healthiest diet and food doesn't have a hold on? Mental abuse was a term I wasn't able to say until very recently. I think the reason was because the word abuse is very strong. It comes with large connotation and I couldn't accept the fact that someone who I love can hurt me. And when I finally was able to accept that I had that other baggage, I could take a moment and think about the source, you could say. Overcoming that mental abuse is a challenge, especially since I came to the realization so recently. It's buried a lot deeper than anything physical, that's for sure. Sometimes I feel like, like sometimes even though alhamdulillah I'm, I'm surrounded with like a lot of good people, like I still feel lonely in, in the end. Like I can't help but feel lonely if we're if I'm out with my friends or we're like. I mean that's when I feel like the most like not lonely. There will be like a, a moment of peace where I'm like you know you know I'm like I'm, I'm content. I've always identified as being an American. With my father being Syrian and my mom Filipino, I've found that I've mostly connected in terms of culture and society with America. However, within that circle, I also identify as a proud Muslim. I feel like constantly defending my beliefs may seem like baggage. Especially in today's society, with the Muslim community constantly being questioned and attacked, so I constantly feel the need to defend my beliefs because it's my form of educating others. I am a proud American Muslima. Every day I work on breaking free of it, but it seems hopeless a lot of the time. Every day I wake up and I think, today is the day. And every day I go to sleep and I say, tomorrow is the day. It's a constant cycle. It gets really tiring. One day I had to ask myself, why do I suffer from anxiety sometimes? Where did the self-hate come from? I think my neediness also stems from that. I really hate that part of myself, but it's something I can't seem to change. I'm working on it. I'm working on all of these things. My baggage follows me. It's a part of me. But I fight it so that it won't define me.